Good morning guys, how are we? I'm back here again, I'm back here in ancient Stirling Basically I'm close to where I found the two hammers And uh, I'm going to give it a go again today uh, You know, I've only got a couple of hours, three, four hours I'll give it a go uh, I've just walked about a mile to get to where I found them And uh, hopefully we will produce some good finds Can't guarantee it, but uh, I'm definitely going to die trying So, uh, basically I'm just going to crack on today I'm going to head out, I'm going to head up this direction up here and I'm just going to see what I can find Hopefully there'll be some good finds eh? Eh, After getting that lovely Eddie the first hammered I'm hoping for more So I'm just going to crack on and, eh, and I'll get back to using the first hit So guys I just dug this, this came up with a 54 and I think he's a turner Turner perhaps Oh it's not a turner Oh it's got a shield on the back, possibly Georgian Georgian token. That looks like a shield to me. Possibly a Georgian token there. I'm not really sure what it is if anybody knows, but that looks like a shield. It looks like the bullhead shield. Possibly somebody on that. I just can't see who it is. Possibly a head there. But yeah, we'll get that looked up for the roundup and let you know. Possibly a Georgian token there. I thought it was a turner, but it's not. Ah, well, I don't think it is. It's got a shield, so I'm possibly thinking Georgian, so we'll let you know in the roundup. Right guys, really big 85 there and I have got some kind of old, old pewter medallion It's definitely pewter and I'm going to struggle to get it off this but you can see there's definitely some detail on that It's a medal of some sort and uh, the problem I'm going to have is keeping that wet to find out what it is but it almost looks like a religious medal so I'll get a photo of that just now and hopefully when I get it home, I'll be able to clean it up. Just dug that. I was jumping in the 60s and I think we've got a Turner. Oh yeah. Possibly a Charles II Turner there. Again. This is this ancient land in Stirling It's very hard to make anything out Sometimes when I get them home and I get them close to the camera You can see a bit more detail But yeah, I definitely think that's another Charles the second Turner Just dug that out there guys Again I've got another coin Oh, that's definitely a Turner again, isn't it? I think we've got another Charles the second Turner Don't know if there's anything on that, possibly Again, it's one of these ones where when we get it home we'll be able to ID it, but that possibly again could be a Charles the second turner. Again, I've been walking about now for about 20 minutes and uh, I pulled out this one just out here and again it's another coin, very very thin and I do think that again is oh, definitely a Charles the second turner. Turner? Yeah, I'm a turner. Oh, this is absolutely fantastic land, this, that's kind of free in a little row. Ah, hopefully we'll get something good today. Here we go, three turners so far. So it's looking good, hopefully something nice will come out. Just dug that over there, I was jumping 60, 64 in the machine. And again, ha, what do you think it is? It's another turner. That could even be older, that could be Charles the first, look at the state of that one. Yeah, definitely a turner. See when you find them coming out this morning, you know they're like Charles II or maybe even older There you go That's another lovely turner I think Very boring but yeah A nice turner Just dug that over there, I was jumping up at 64, 65 <laughs> Look at that Another worn down turner, either that or a, a rose farthing Because this one's a little bit different in patina Possibly a rose farthing, I'm not sure I don't know, I'll see if I can get it off this, there's possibility of being something on that there There looks like a kind of design of a rose there That possibly could be a rose farthing but I'll let you know on the roundup Right guys, I can't believe this one, this one's just come up 89.90 I thought it was a half penny, I started to rub it and I thought I can't see it and on that side Still can't see it and on that side, but when I turned it over I can see a crown which makes it Oh it's not even George the Third. I thought it was going to be a shield. Oh it's a Charles the Second Bobby. Oh is that a Charles the Second Bobby? 
Oh, you little beauty. Oh, I don't believe that. I thought it was going to be a George III token again, one of the called Derek Pennies with a crown. It's not, it's a Charles II Bobby Fissle and Crown. Woohoo! Oh, you can see his head, look, look. Oh, there's his head coming through. Yeah, you're going to be able to see that head. I'll get that cleaned up for the roundup. You can actually see his head. I can feel it with my finger. We'll be able to see that on the roundup, but uh, that's uh, a Charles II. Bobby. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that or not, but uh, Charles II's head is there. There you go. Have a look closely. Right guys, I just hit off around about the 59 mark and I just dug this. I thought it was going to be a hammy. It's blank. Yeah, definitely blank. Ah, oh, it's blank. It's bent over. I just can't get the bend out of it. Ah, oh, it's, oh, it's a blank silver. Oh, I think that's a hammy, you know. Judging by how thin it is, I'd probably say that was a hammy, genuinely. I know when I say they came out blank, they're generally William the Third, But uh, it's just not thick enough, it's just far too thin. That's got to be a blank hammy. It's got to be a really worn down hammy. I'm trying to bend it out, it's just not going to happen without snapping it, because it's starting to give way at the corners. Uh, I'll get it home. I'll get it looked up and, uh, and I'll let you guys make up. Is it a hammy or not? You guys can decide. I think so. But uh, it looks like nothing on it. I'll see if I can get it off it when I get it home. You never know. Sometimes when you wipe them down you can get a wee bit of writing off them. But it really does look in the blank side to me. So I'll let you guys decide hammy or not. You guys can let me know in the comments what you think. Basically my aim here in Stirling is to basically find medieval things uh, like hammered coins, medieval artefacts. That's why I'm here. Uh, I've been through the days of finding Victorian artefacts, Georgian artefacts. I want to find older now. So hopefully Stirling's a place for it. Between Stirling and Perth I've got a few permissions. So hopefully we'll find some good things. You just never know when you're going to find something good. That's the problem. A lot of walking involved in this land. And I always say it, if you walk, you know, great distances, sometimes you just come across a, a wee patch where there was some really good finds. And again today, that's what I've did. I've hit a couple of turners and then I've got a lovely Charles II Bobby and possibly maybe a silver hammered. So here we go. So I'm going to move on again and just see what else we can find. Guys, I've been walking about now for a while. Uh, I'm just a wee bit in the cold side. It's close to Christmas, so... Uh, I'm sorry there's not been a lot of great finds, but we did get a lovely Charles the Second Bobby and possibly uh, a hammered, so we'll, we'll get it home and um, we'll kind of weigh up what we've found. It's not one of the best hunts that I've had here in Stirling, but it proves again that I'm on the right track to where the medieval people were. So I'm going to stick with it and I'm going to keep going and hopefully in 2017 there'll be more great finds. On that note guys, I've got to call it a day for this hunt and I'll catch you on the roundup and show you all the finds. Right, good luck, happy hunting and I'll see you then. Bye for now. Good evening guys, how are we? Welcome along to the roundup for this hunt. And uh, I've not showed any of the junk for this hunt because basically it's all lead and uh, it doesn't produce quite a lot of junk this permission. So I'm going to move on and I want to show you this find here. I thought it was a religious medallion. But if you look in the back, it's definitely got... Two love hearts and a HH. I don't know what that means. I don't know, I thought it was a religious medallion, but it's maybe some kind of sweetheart a medallion or something like that. I don't know. But there you go, it's a lovely find that I found on that field. Yeah, Charles is saying Turner. Very warm Charles is saying Turner as well. Again, that's another Charles II Turner. Positive that again is another Charles II Turner. Rose Farthing, definitely a Rose Farthing. Eh, this one here. I'll wait for so you can see it. Hopefully, you guys will be able to see the shield. There is a shield on that, it's a spade guinea, a token, or something like that. I don't know, uh, possibly George III, so we'll see. 
Uh, I'll get a better picture for it further round up and uh, let you see it, but there's definitely the bullhead shield there. So I was thinking like maybe a spade guinea a token or something like that. <clears throat> it could be. And uh, of course we've got this one, which I'm also going to wear. Look closely. Can you see his head? Charles the second. I think it's a bobby in it. Let me wait the other side. I'll show you that a bit better. There you go. Thistle and crown. Woo! That is the find of the day for me. There was another find that popped out, which I'm not able to ID. Unfortunately, I can't read the three letters on it, but I'll give you a better view of it again. And you can see the three letters in there for yourself. Any of you guys know what it is? I'd say it's a hammy. I'd say it's a really warm hammy. Probably old as well, but uh, generally when they come out blank I would normally say love token, generally love token William the third. but this one's just far too thin for that, far too thin, definitely going to be a worn down hammy, it's just it won't fold out at all, so I'm going to have to heat it, there's three letters in there, don't know if any of you guys I've got any idea what it is but there you go I think it's a hammy so guys I want you to leave your thoughts in the comments what do you think it is do you think it's a worn down hammer or do you think it's an old silver let me know your comments uh, uh, leave a wee message and let me know what you think right I'm going to move on and, uh, and I'll be back out again one more hunt before the end of 2017 and we'll just see what we can get and uh, Hopefully we'll bring you some more good finds. Right, good luck, happy hunting, and I'll catch you then. Bye for now.